Welcome, how's everyone going? Neil Ellis here from Tax TV. Uh, going to be doing my predictive starting 11 for Bolton Wanderers away in FA Cup. <clears throat> um, pretty strong lineup, if I'm being honest, and I'll explain reasons, one of the reasons why. I uh, just want to address some of what's been going off last week or so, well, since last week end. Um, yeah, a lot of things being said, mentioned on Twitter. I know. Joe from Red All Over, um, he's like apologise and you know come out with uh, come out with stuff about the uh, meeting with, with Julian. And what can I say? It's people on Twitter. Some like jump. Not all people, but I think a lot of people were kind of rubbishing things before things were being said and heard. Um, I think you get that. I mean, I've had it as well. I've had it like personal messages. I've had whether it be Twitter or other platforms, and that I've had personal messages. Um, and it's you can take constructive criticism. You can take you know, um, if, it, if it's meat on bones and if there's a debate to a bit to be had, but when it starts getting personal and it also starts getting abusive, it it's like crossing a a line. I look at it, me in my workplace, if if I were being that disrespectful and being abusive and, you know, coming out with stuff to a, a member of my uh, workplace, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be accepted. And at the end of the day, we're all human. We all want best for Barnsley FC. Yeah, there's people, you know, I've, I've called it out last season. I've called uh, some of the board members out. And not in a nasty, vindictive way, but in a constructive way, as in being transparent and stuff. And I think that's all what we want as a club. It is a shame to see that certain uh, fans, that, you know, have, have not renewed the scene tickets and stuff like that. And there is doubts here. I'm not getting away from that. You can you can clearly see. I'm not. I'm you know, I called it out last season that what a, a disaster a season it was last season. A fiasco. But things have started where I could see in summer fan engagement with some forums, with uh, ground tours, appointing Duff. I mean, quite a lot of fans, if not a vast majority of fans, wanted that to go, you know, for us to go that route. Players have gone, players have come in, we've had a blip in, in you know, we've had a dip in league. But again, foundations, you've got to try and build somewhere and rebuild job. I'm said it to be a rebuild job no matter who came in. I still think Duff's going to take a couple of transfer windows to get his personnel in. But again, it's in that engagement. I did meet with Julian on the Saturday. Um, managed to grab a, a quick word with you. Told us some of my thoughts about, you know, we are the engagement should could be better where the you know to make it more pleasing to fans to the younger generation as well to the younger generation as well just want to get people you know more or less from schools and supporting one team in red and that's barnsley and we've got to be both successful off the pitch as well on it and i think if, if we can start doing that then we are going to be getting somewhere somewhat like but yeah, um, I've messaged. Well, I've I've, uh, I've seen the uh, video, and I've also thanked uh, Andy as well for his comments and stuff. Life's too short. We all want best foot club, and we move on. Uh, it's all about opinions. Always has been, and it's just being respectful with opinions. Um, like I say, if we all agree with the same thing, it'd be. Be a poor world, won't be living in, but you know, we, we've all got our own opinions. We all we see things and t uh, call things on, on certain issues and that, but again, it's just being respectful. So, that being said, get back to football uh, matters. So, yeah, coming up, FA Cup. I mean, we're away at Bolton. I didn't really want it, if I'm being fair, you know. Against uh, another league one opposition, it don't it, it, like don't really seem 
like it's a uh, I don't know. Like, it don't really seem like it's a an FA Cup, but um, you'd always like to expect someone a bit higher or a bit a bit lower in the league, and it kind of makes it kind of think FA Cup. I'm going for a bit of a strong lineup, if I'm being honest. The reason behind this, I'll come to it in a minute. I think Jack Walton will play in goal. <laughs> I like he's done rest of games. Jordan Williams, I'd like to see him continue if possible. Captain Mads, Kunde, Kitchen, Nicky Cadden. Pretty strong lineup. Could be a few. Could be a few talking points here. I think we Kunde. He could possibly play Edwards again, like he uh, like he did recently. But again, would you be wanting to like rest a few players, or would you carry on in that same same frame of mind? I would like to see Williams have some more game time under his belt, not risk. But again, would you see Williams being rested up on bench and Edwards come in? I think it's a pretty strong back line. And Nicky Cadden, would you see him there, or would you see Lareshin? One of the reasons I'm going saying this for is that when you look in November, after this game, we've only got two league games in November. So, would you want to tinker about with it too much? Or would you go with a pretty decent setup side against Bolton away? I'd be interested to have your thoughts and comments below. Luke Connell, I know he had some uh, stick off at certain Bolton fans, and I will say they Manager, I go Benson, and I go Martin. Well, there's an I just also back round a bit. I'm thinking, does the goal that he scored would it push him up there for a start, a possible starting place? Again, <clears throat> some people say yeah, some people say no, but I think yeah, it's Bolton front two. Devante Cole, Tedich. Again, I'm just wanting that goal for him. Uh, unselfish act that he did, setting up Martin for a second goal on Saturday. Will it? Would he? Call, would he make a, a, a starting place for you? Bear in mind, we've got Norwood, Aitchison on bench. Got Jallo. Yeah. So that's my. But it's starting 11. Again, my thought behind it is just that we've only got like two get league games. So I'd go with a pretty decent setup, a de pretty decent uh, strong side. Quite a few going. Um, again, £10 for tickets and stuff like that. So, yeah, be going again this time all being well. We can get into the next round at Draw FA Cup. Bolton and Barnes, if you say in the comments below, do you agree with a with a start predicted starting eleven? Would you change out else? You know, I think you possibly could change back three. You could change with both wing backs in certain certain personnel midfield. You possibly could, as could you do striker. You could have a different. You know, you might have a different uh, starting two, or you could have a different starting eleven. It's just my thoughts. What I'm predicting might happen. Um, I know when I did one last week, it won't a million miles away, a couple of different uh, players in, but it was more or less same-ish, similar-ish. I didn't see Edwards coming in at centre-back, if I'm being honest, but when he did come in, he did a solid job, he did a decent job. Williams getting forward a lot, so a lot more attacking threat. So I've got a lot of positives here, a lot of improvements here. Luke O'Connell, again, great to see him back, and... It, it was good to have a, a debate and sort polls and that on who would be, you know, man at match. For me, well, Williams, people saying, look, we're kind of a good game, kitchen won't fire off. So, a lot of positives here, a lot of positives. Score prediction, FA Cup in it. So, I'd, I'd, I'd come away with one note, Barnsley, if I'm being honest. But if it's going to be like more of a stalemate, it's going to be, I think it's going to be a tight game. 
could see it being 2 1 Barnsley, depending on how many uh, changes they met Bolton. And of course, Bolton will be playing in the retro kit as well, which my friend from Bolton, Dave Jones, sent me a message. And it does look a good kit. I like it. It's like that with laces, like a, a proper retro style kit. Um, I think there'll be a decent crowd here, but it being £10 a ticket. I know we're taking quite a few. Might think that Bolton be there as well. I can see it being a tight game, like I said, what it will in the league. Not going to be much in it. I'd come away with one note, Barnsley. I, I really would. I'm going to the next round at draw. With the goals in it, I'm saying 2 1, but yeah, I'm going to say 2 1 Barnsley. Let me know your uh, thoughts, let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and share as always. Um, appreciate your comments, and I'll read and reply to each and every one of you. If you go in, which I am, we are kind of thing, have a safe journey, veer and back. One thing left to say, you Reds. Thank <music> you.